Hey coin collectors and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we're going to take a look at the 1973 United States one dime coin. One of the things that people forget is that in the 1970s and before then, the San Francisco Mint made regular circulation or business strike coins. And so in 1973, the San Francisco Mint made 319 million. Uh, the Denver Mint made 3.5 billion and the Philadelphia Mint made 3.7 billion. So the S is not a rare coin from that era, uh, but it is a rare coin if you get it in good shape. So if you can get it in this kind of condition right here, and we'll take a look at it, it's going to be worth possibly 10 to $12, as will these two here. If you can get these into MS67, which is really, really good shape, which this one is probably close, and you may be talking about $100 to $400 for the different mints. Some people say, well, why is it that the dime in an MS67 is worth like one-tenth of what a penny would be? It all goes by collectors, right? So in, if you look for the 1973 pennies and you get them in MS67 or Mint State 67 condition for a business strike coin, you're talking about two to $4,000 for the different mints. That's the high price that's been paid on those. If you look at the high price that's been paid on these coins, the 1973 dimes, you're talking about $100 to $400 for an MS67. So it's just that there aren't as many dime collectors out there. What distinguishes a good dime in a bad dime? You can get over onto the back, and we look at what they call the bands on the back, and that's this part right here. It goes onto the torch. If you have the full torch, with the full bands, both the bands and all the lines going through, you are talking probably in this one, maybe 100 to 200 dollars. 